Many fall athletes receive the city, conference, and academic honors, and we'll also hear from a few students in our Crusader check-in blogs. The Red and Gold Show starts now. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Caitlin Dunn, bringing you the news from the 007 studio. As you probably know by now, we will begin full online learning a week from today. Students will continue to follow the daily bell schedule when attending classes online. Students will attend synchronously with teachers and classmates via Teams. Administrators will share more information on expectations for online learning and details relating to the end of the semester by the end of the day on Thursday. So stay tuned for more information this week. Now let's head over to Gabe who will keep us up to date with our Crusader Clubs. Thanks, Caitlin. Ms. Wetzel is hosting a call-out meeting for the new Creative Writing Club on Wednesday at 3.15. Contact her for a link to the team's meeting and get those creative juices flowing. That's it for clubs. Now back to Caitlin for more news. Thanks, Gabe. The Student Council Tender Loving Christmas Drive will continue through Friday. Students can pay $1 for each day they are on campus to dress out of uniform. Money will be collected during resource classes. This year's goal is to collect at least $1,000 to help at least two families in need during the upcoming holiday season. Students in cohort A and D are competing with those in cohorts B and D. The group that brings in the most money will be given a voucher to dress out of uniform one more day. The voucher can be used on any day of the school year. A voluntary group of faculty, staff members, and coaches will match any dollar amounts donated by students this week. So let's dig deep and give that, as usual, give that little extra to help those in need. Now let's head over to Gabe for today's Crusader Sports. Thanks, Caitlin. Several fall athletes received honors for their play this past season. Tom DeFries, Anthony Hans, and Jackson Pruitt were named to the All-City football team Thomas and Jackson were also named to the all-conference team. Jack Eichholz was named to the all-conference team as well. Garrett Nolan and Owen Schreiber were named to the all-conference team for boys soccer. Jacob Sitzman earned an all-city, all-conference, and all-regional honors for cross-country. Many fall athletes also earned academic, all-state, and or all-conference honors. Let's check out the list. Congrats to the fall athletes for competing hard in the classroom and in your chosen sport. Anyone interested in joining the lacrosse team this spring should attend one of two call-out meetings this week. Meetings will be held Thursday and Friday at 5 p.m. in the parking lot next to the football field. You'll be able to meet the new coach and hear about his plans for the upcoming season. On Friday, the girls basketball team will play at Speedway with JV taking the court at 6 and Varsity at 7.30. On Saturday, the boys' basketball team will host New Pal at 10 a.m. That's it for sports. Now back to Caitlin for more news. Thanks, Gabe. Now let's hear from some of you with our Crusader check-in blogs. What is up, Cecina Memorial High School? It's me, O.C. Gay, and today we're going to be making my um, YouTube uh, wallpaper. So first, we got to... Okay, so we're, we're not going to just like sit here and watch me do this. But basically, this is my program that I use. It's called MetaBank. It's free, and it's kind of difficult. It's on, it's on mobile, but it's still kind of difficult to use. But basically, we're just going to need the dimensions. I forgot what the dimensions for a YouTube channel art was. At first, I was experimenting. I was thinking, like, let's go with green and um, pink. But then I realized my little logo is not that color so i had to switch it up a bit so this program you have like tags you can edit the tags you can edit pictures too you see i'm about to pull up a picture sometimes 
I didn't know what picture I wanted to use, but I decided to just look up a random anime picture. And it wanted it to be black and white, so I chose Sasuke. Had to crop it out just a tad bit, you feel me? But, um, it came out pretty good, actually. I actually like this, um, channel art, not gonna lie. Better than my old one. I, I don't even remember what my old one used to look like. But had to make sure I get the subscribe button. I was thinking about putting my socials there, but then I was like, nah, let's, let's not do that. So I had to do three test runs to make sure it actually fit. It wasn't like fitting the first time. So I had to like shrink, crop, and do all that just to make sure it would like get everything I want included in the picture, you feel me? Yeah, here goes some of the test runs. Like. I think this one was test run two. Kind of fit, kind of didn't fit. And then I had to crop it out some more just to get that color. But then I thought, you know what? White might look good on here. So I switched it to white. But I still think the baby blue is just a tad bit better. But the white's cool too. Then I had to put the signature on top like a cherry. Uh, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you for stopping by and checking with OC and doing art with OC. Maybe I'll make something next week. I don't know. See you guys later. What's up, Crusaders? Today I'm going to be talking about the game Octopath Traveler. And I know that these are turning into more game reviews than actual vlogs, but what else are you going to do during a pandemic? So let's get into it. Octopath Traveler is a game that's made to pay homage to some of the older RPGs from the, from the 1990s, which is reflected a lot in the visual style of the game and in the combat. So each character in the game is assigned a job, which has its own strengths, weaknesses, and different abilities. And later on in the game, you can start combining those jobs to have new strategies and setups for taking out the various enemies you'll find. So the abilities that these characters can have can vary a lot, from different kinds of melee strikes as well as different varieties of magic techniques that can be used to target the weaknesses of different enemies. Every different ability that these characters have can be used in a variety of situations, so the game really encourages you to experiment with different kinds of abilities. Every one of the eight characters in the game has their own storyline, with different characters and different vill villains for them to fight as they go along. Overall, Octopath Traveler has a lot of complexity, both in its battle system and in the world exploration, so I really recommend people check this out if they're at all interested in RPG games like this, or just want a game with a lot of content for them to play during the pandemic. Hey guys, it's Olivia, and today's Wednesday, so it's a flex day at Cecina. Um, I'm just gonna walk you through what I'm gonna do today. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go over to Jack's house to do some homework and some college applications. So yeah. I just got home, so now it's time to get ready to go to basketball practice. That was a pretty cool video, Liv. That's it for today's news. Stay safe and give that a little extra.